Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, today I'm gonna show y'all how I'm gonna make a beetle enclosure. Um, I've been doing skull mounts, uh, started out as a hobby, and uh, I've been doing them uh, eight or 10 years now, and it's become a pretty good little side business, and I've started getting into beetles. Um, so I'm making my first enclosure for beetles, and I'm gonna show y'all how I'm gonna do it. Uh, nothing that I'm doing is my own idea. These are ideas I've gotten off of forums, Facebook pages, talking to people and friends, um, and just kind of um, a little bit of just putting all that together to make my first one. I've got a freezer here behind me and all the parts I hope that I need, um, and I'll kind of just show y'all as I go along. Before we get started, uh, y'all do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Um, I'll try to be bringing y'all a lot more videos of what we're doing here around the house. Uh, projects, taxidermy stuff, chicken stuff, just a little bit of everything in the house. Um, I've made some cable TV videos in the past that have been pretty popular. Um, probably not going to be putting any of those on this page anymore. I'm looking into starting another page uh, just for the cable stuff and then this page will be just like I said, mainly what we do around the house. So please hit that subscribe button and we'll keep bringing y'all videos. My daughter made this really cool beetle picture for me. Um, I started out with five beetles. Um, a customer dropped off a water buffalo head and had a few beetles on it and I took them off, put them in a really small uh, Tupperware container and now they've grown to this. I've been keeping them in this out in my shop. Um, the weather hasn't been up much above 90 and they've done pretty good. One day they were trying to fly out um, but I, they hadn't had any feed in a while, or food in a while. Uh, so. We're going to get them moved to this into a freezer. Right, so here's the freezer. Um, it's pretty small, as you can tell. Um, I'm going to get all the parts right here I think that I need. Screen, um, the duct, there's Skylar. Um, a, a bathroom fan, and a timer. And um, so we're going to cut holes on each side of the freezer and put the fan in there to force air through uh, to try to keep the humidity down inside the freezer. Um, so we're going to do that and I'll start, uh, once I get it finished, I'm going to start trapping the beetles out of the container they're in now and, and moving them over into this container little by little. guys here's a little trick already figured out um, my hacksaw blade is not long enough to be able to reach all the way through the, the wall on the freezer it's already cut the other side out over there you see on that side had a little trouble with it <clears throat> on this side I drilled a pilot hole through the middle and then cut around the outside this is really sharp so be careful um, cut around the outside uh, with the hacksaw but it didn't reach the inside so I had this piece that came off from right here and as you can see I took it right there and traced it on the inside so I can cut the exact same circle and have it line up on that side as you can tell let me turn the camera around here well, that, that circle is not real pretty I'm kind of a perfectionist about stuff like that um, so I'm hoping this other side will be a little bit more, uh, a little better because I had that uh, exact circle cut out or trace so I can cut it out too. Alright, I got the uh, holes cut, 
um, I got this collar right here that my um, the duct's going to attach to, and I got the fan uh, attached right here, and that's a collar that goes from three inches to four inches uh, to line up with that duct. I, I would decide to go with four inches for a couple different reasons I'll talk about later, but so that's what we got so far. Get it all uh, set up, and then uh, once I get done with that, we'll move on and put some uh, the screen on the inside to keep the beetles in there, and then uh, use that tape there to tape everything up. All right, guys, I got this uh, far so so far. Um, I got a hose clamp on this end of the duct, and then down here on this other end, I'm probably gonna put a zip tie. Um, I've already kind of tore up the duct a little bit, um, putting a hose clamp on there. Uh, be careful with this duct. I uh, pulled it, 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 it stretches out and I pulled it too far the first time and this is what happened. Um, so that stuff's like ten eight or ten bucks for a piece of it. So um, just so maybe y'all guys can save a little money and not tear it up the first time. Uh, luckily the one piece was enough to do it two times so um, but when I do my next freezer I'm going to buy some more so I got this side pretty much done uh, as you can see I bent one of the tabs back right here and then stuck that um, cord out right here to plug it in um, I wrapped that in a bunch of electrical tape just so if it sits here and vibrates it doesn't uh, you know eventually wear through there and short out on this bottom side where the adapter is, um, I just use full tape and it's holding pretty good. As long as I can keep my kids and the dogs from running into it, it should be just fine. Right, guys, decided to uh, wrap that whole hole, the inside of the hole with uh, full tape uh, before I put the screen over it. Um, there's a lot of jagged edges there, I just don't want to cut the screen. and. I think it looks a little bit better. It's probably overkill, but um, so I'm gonna attach, put the screen over the top of this hole and then uh, tape it down. Um, this is what it looked like before I started. All right, so here's what we got. Um, have the screens taped in place. And full tape all the way around them. Screen on this side. Right now, I don't have anything connected to this side. It's just gonna blow out into my shop. Um, but my shop's real close to my house, so um, if the smell becomes an issue, I'm gonna ventilate it outside. And I taped up all the seams in here with the full tape. And then, so now I'm pretty much done. I've got my uh, a timer over here. I'm gonna hook up to the fan and then I'm going to put some uh, shavings or paper down here and then start transferring my beetles over. Alright everybody, um, finished up with this leg of the project. Um, I probably like a lot of other people, um, getting into the beetles has been, uh, there's just so much information out there. It's uh, pretty overwhelming, um, but just like with anything else, the more you get into it, it's not quite as hard as, as you may think. Um, so I hope this video helps everybody, kind of uh, shows you how easy it is. I've probably got, um, I got the freezer for free and I've probably got um, 50 bucks in the materials maybe. Um, and probably about four hours um, do, putting it all together, but that's, um, um, I, I haven't been really going that hard or that fast. I could probably done it twice that time if I'd have hurried. Um, again, please subscribe. I'm gonna, um, try to make another video of how I catch my beetles out of the enclosure they're in now and move them to this one. Um, uh, that was one thing I've, I've studied and figured out how I'm going to do it and it's not as hard as I thought it would be. And uh, So anyway, again, please subscribe and we'll see you later.